Servus und grüß euch. And of course, hi everybody. My name is Dieter Van Schura and I'm the owner and manager of the Artelino Company. The Artelino Company sells Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions, like this one by Hazui Kawase. Hazui Kawase is an artist of the so-called Shinhanga art movement and that's my subject for this video today. Hanga is the Japanese word for print, and shin is the Japanese word for new, so new prints uh, means a lot, yeah. but I'm going to explain. Let's start at the beginning of the 20th century. At that time, the classical ukiyo-e printmaking, as we know it, from Hiroshige Utamaro was in crisis. Why crisis? Well, it was replaced by photography and by offset printmaking. But the publishers, the ukiyo-e artists and the printers and the carvers, they were still there and they had a very high technical level, but they kept themselves afloat by making reproductions of the old masters and selling them to, the, to tourists. And then came a smart guy. He was a publisher and his name was Watanabe Shotsaburo. And he had an, an idea. He said, hey, let's make a renaissance with our old ukiyo-e printmaking uh, scheme. Let's renew it. Let's put some new features into it, like Western perspective and the effects of light and shadow and let's sell it to Westerners. Um, he had a lot of his experience with exports because his reproductions that he made before, they went mainly to the USA and Europe and he had an idea what Westerners liked. Westerners liked uh, this idea of a Japanese Disneyland, which did not exist anymore in 1910, of course. But it worked. Watanabe, um, he invited a bunch of artists to work for him and they made prints in this new Shinhanga style, exported them to the USA and to Europe and yeah, nearly everything went outside. Um, Japan was hardly a market for these Shinhanga prints by Watanabe. There was not only Watanabe, there were also other publishers and there were a few independent artists. I want to give you a few names. Hazui Kawase, Watanabe Landscape Prince, Koza Nohara. He cooperated with Watanabe, especially on birds and flowers and other animals. Then there was Natori Shunsen, actor prince. And Ito Shinsui, yeah, he made beautiful women. So basically what they did, they took up these old favorite subjects, these genres of the old ukiyo-e, and each artist specialized on something. Hiroshi Yoshida should be mentioned, he was independent, he had created his own studio, then Goyo Hashiguchi with um, Beijing prints, unfortunately he died soon, Tori Kodondo, and many, many more. Let me give you a few collector tips. Well, you should know a Shinhanga print can be from very, very expensive, that means several thousand dollars, to a few hundred dollars, like let's say um, 300 dollars. It depends mainly from which period it is. For Shinhanga prints, you can discern roughly four stages. There are the most expensive prints, which were made before 1923, when, what was in 1923, there was a huge earthquake which destroyed Watanabe's print shop, and all the wood blocks were destroyed. So if there are any prints left, they are very rare, and collectors pay a very high price. Then there are the prints made after the earthquake in 1923, but before World War II. They are more expensive. And finally, the 
prints made after World War II. In the 1950s, there was a boom. Um, all made from the original uh, woodblock prints, of course. In the 1950s, mainly the American GIs, um, they were the main um, customers in, in Japan. And Watanabe's print shop and also Hiroshi Yoshida Studios, they, they boomed at that time. And then there are finally the so-called Heisei editions. These are prints published after 1989. It was originally Watanabe print shop who had this idea. He said, we still have the blocks and the blocks are still okay. So let's print new editions from that. The dealers were at, when they heard that, they were first afraid, God, this is ruining our market, but it didn't happen. So today you have four different stages and Shinhanga are very coveted by collectors and they may have very high prices. For you as a collector, especially when you're a novice collector, the question is, how can you recognize what is what? Uh, I can wrap it up in one sentence. You should rely on an expert. It's really not quite easy. Um, buy from a reputable dealer or um, an auction house in which you can trust. You can acquire Shinhanga prints. It's one of our um, specialities in our weekly online auctions. And yeah, so much about Shinanga for today. Thank you for watching and I wish you a nice day.